Hi, this is Michael at TV Radio 1972, and today I am reviewing the AVI Radio Subcarrier Receiver. It's an FM subcarrier audio radio that I bought for $28 at Amazon. And uh, here's the box right here. Simple little box. Uh, the front and the back is pretty much the same. And then on the top of the box, there's a sticker that includes the model number, which is KST-50. And uh, the radio came in bubble wrap right here. It came with this uh, adapter in which uh, you can attach a wall charger here to plug in, and you can operate the radio without batteries if you wish. Although, uh, you can operate it with two AA batteries. And here's the instructions. You can pause and read that. And here's the back of it. You can pause and read that. Very simple instructions. Now, um, here's the radio right here. I'll put it right here for now. Now, um, you notice uh, there's SCA. Now, SCA stands for Subsidiary Communications Authorization in the United States. Now, in Canada, they call it SCMO, Subsidiary Communications Multiplex Operation. Basically, SCA is a subcarrier of a radio station on a radio station, allowing the station to broadcast additional services as part of its signal. And um, its main uh, signals are 67 kilohertz or 92 kilohertz. 67 is most common in my area. Now here's the front of the radio right here. Has ABI radio logo here, very simple. One and a half inch speaker here. A digital display here, although it is an analog radio. It has a digital display, a power light here. And then your band switch here, uh, 67 kilohertz, 92 kilohertz, and the standard FM band. Here's the bottom right here. The side of the radio, you have a simple uh, tuning wheel here and a wrist strap here. And the back of the radio, uh, you have your antenna, which extends out to 17 inches. A screw to hold uh, the antenna base here. And it does uh, swivel practically all around. Vanity case here. Some details on the rail here. The model number. Powered by two AA batteries or DC 4.5 volts. Although um, the input's actually DC 5 volts here. Uh, Subcarry audio. Uh, FM A7.5 to 108.5. Uh, when I used it, uh, it actually went 87.2 to 108.2, basically. Made in China. Here's the battery door where you can store the uh, two AA batteries. So you have rechargeables, but you can use alkalines. On the side of the radio here, an on off switch volume wheel here. Earphone jack here, headphones, uh, both ears, uh, low level hiss. I tried it. I believe it's in mono. And then your DC 5 volt input here. And I'm also going to give you the dimensions on this radio. Pardon me. 4 and 5 eighths inches in length, 2 and 7 eighths inches in height, and a depth of about 1 inch. And what I'm going to do right now is start with the 67 kilohertz. Um, I actually got about 11 stations right here, and we'll just do a band scan here. This, to me, was the best spot to try this radio because I tried it the normal spot. It got a little staticky at times. 
So I'm gonna turn it on. 67 kilohertz here. Now this is WSOU, South Orange, New Jersey. It used to carry a reading for the blind service. However, now it's uh, just carrying dead air and open carrier. Another potential nit. Researchers found antibiotic residues in fruit that were more than three times that higher. That station than is our Gate Wave. It's a reading for the blind for service. Antibiotics into citrus trees. Jane Adams, a plant pathologist at That is the, the only of English subcarry audio station in my area. I have nothing listed here. Now, I do have a list of stations, um, but it's not updated. It was updated last year, but according to last year's list, this is Radio Omega, which is Haitian. This is another... Now, this list says Hello World Radio, which is in Greek. That has music, uh, but that is Radio Soleil de Haiti. I think that's how it's pronounced. It's Haitian programming. There's quite a few Haitian channels around here in the subcarrier audio bands. Now the 67 kilohertz on 99.5 WBAI is Radio Maria in Italian, but if I switch over to 92 kilohertz, it's Radio Maria in Spanish. Here's a listen. I gotta switch back to 67. Hmm. It usually has some sort of Haitian programming on 101.1. Um, that's why I've listed, but I don't know the name of it. They didn't list the name of it. I guess it's off the air now. But there is Haitian programming on 101.1 on 67 kilohertz. Oh, there it is. One oh one point nine Radio Panow, that's P A N O W, that's in Haitian, on sixty seven kilohertz. This one, uh, it's not listed correctly, but it's actually uh, Grupo Radial Delgado. That's in Spanish on the 92 kilohertz right here. It's in Spanish now. It listed a Haitian station, but uh, it's now Spanish. And there's one more. That is Korean Christian Broadcasting. It's the only Korean station in our area in subcarrier audio.
And that is all for the subcarrier audio uh, band scans. So I got 11 stations um, on 67 kilohertz and two stations on 92 kilohertz. And uh, I'll put a link in the description below on where I found the list. It's, like I said, it's not completely accurate because it was last updated in 2018. But I'll put that list down here. Now let's go to FM. As far as FM reception is concerned, eh, a little below average in FM reception itself because of the selectivity. So the selectivity is not that great. It actually missed a couple of stations when I did a band scan from the usual spot that I record my videos. Got about 34 stations. Um, but in a few other spots, I was able to get a couple more. So I see about three dozen stations, which is... A little below average from my area, New York area. So, we'll do this band scan quickly and then my final thoughts. Sponsor of WBGO's 2020 trip to South Africa, accompanied by WBGO afternoon jazz host, Alfonso. Security Council resolutions. Windsor Johnston, NPR News, Washington. Stocks finished lower on Wall Street. The Dow was down 173 points. This is NPR News. You're listening to Dawson. Country 94.7. Here's a little problem with the selectivity. Normally, on most of my radios, I can get 96.7, which is now Air 1. But for some reason, I have trouble getting it on this radio. And it's that selectivity is the problem. Let me try to tune in 96.7 here. You see that? Yeah, I can't get Air 1 96.7 on there. Let's continue. Yeah, yeah, that's another problem here. 100.7 WHUD, I get most of my radios, but I'm somehow not able to get on this one. They are relevant right now when a lot of metropolitan fans saw it. Otherwise, comes uh, August, let alone September. So let's turn on the second one now. Of course, fundamental analysis talks about how good or how great. That's my is. FM Technical translator that transmits a couple of miles from me, WMCA. On a chart, and it will actually almost. They don't all do it, but I'll. Yep, 103.9 is another problem area for this radio. I can usually get 103.9 on most of my radio, but not here. Let me try it. Yeah, a little hard to tune. Yeah. Yep, one. 
Yep, 101.7 is another one. I have trouble causing the selectivity. And that is it for the band skin. Final thoughts. Uh, the selectivity, not the greatest. And sometimes if the station is too strong or the reception is too strong, some of that main FM channel will break through the 92 and 67 kilohertz, mostly 67 kilohertz. You might find a little breakthrough of the main FM stations on that band. But, um, to its credit, um, I actually like it. Uh, it may not be the best performer on FM, but, uh, it's kind of fun, uh, sometimes listening to these other programs, including Reading for the Blind. So, overall, um, not quite does what it's supposed to do. I mean, the selectivity could be better, and... Some of that breakthrough on the 67 kilohertz, 92 kilohertz could be a little better. So, doing what it's supposed to do, I'd probably rate this a 6, but since it kind of lacks in that, I'd have to bring it down to a 5 out of 10. Which is uh, not a bad radio. Um, I certainly am going to keep it. I think it's a fun listen. And if you're near metropolitan areas... They have subcarrier audio up. Uh, I'd say buy this radio. But if you're not by areas with subcarrier audio, then I wouldn't recommend this radio. So I'll give this a maybe buy. For my area, I pretty much lean it towards a buy. And if you're in a suburban rural area, I'd say no. Because the standard FM is not the greatest. But those are my thoughts. Um. And uh, being that I'm recording this video on August 20th, 2019, I want to wish everyone a happy radio day. So have a good happy radio day. Have a good night, everyone. And God bless. Bye-bye.